Welcome back to another animation analysis long overdue and this time I'm going to take a look at Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and why not today because today is Oscar night and I know maybe you should not pick openly a favorite but hey I am picking Spider-Man because I think the movie was fantastic and it should win all the awards so why not record this analysis today and post today maybe by the time this whole thing has been exported we will know the winner all right so i grabbed a handful of scenes from the trailers and tv clips and things that people post on twitter and i'm gonna go through those elements that i really really liked about the movie of course there's a little short little bits and pieces let's go through the shots and the first shot i want to take a look at is this long shot of miles intro the shot has been making the round ever since the trailer and the movie came out so good and right off the bat there are many many awesome things in there and of course because it's an animated feature the quality is super high in terms of the details and because i love looking at feet and fingers i know that sounds super weird but whenever there's something like this i look at the changes in posing of the fingers and the changes of props you can see how this goes down and then it stops as he puts more pressure on it with the pen there are adjustments this going down, their adjustments with the actual sketchbook changing its position. There's a lot of already interesting details. And as you frame through, you can see the changes of the camera being on one. So every frame you got camera movement, but then the actual animation is on twos. I think a lot of people have talked about that online. So you can check out a lot of other clips that talk about that. I will not reiterate all those things, but still want to mention the awesomeness that this movie has no blur depth of field is done with this color offset there the printing offset it's just awesome stuff in there but going back to the animation you can see just the influence of the body going up and down it all affects the chair and i know these are tiny tiny details but that's why i'm looking at those things i love all those changes i love the change just in the body how it goes left and right there's a lot of things that we look at in animation in terms of the classes is how your character sometimes can be static if someone is standing and then they act out and you got your your wild gesturing of arms usually the feet are completely locked and it's this ik this ik foot feel where the character doesn't really do much it doesn't really move around in the world and in this case of course because again because it is a feature the quality is so much higher but you see the changes that even though he is not moving much here there's still a slight change in the route which you can see in the change of the chair here and i love of course all the little details of him singing this great moment where he taps he taps his throat it's a great little moment there as he wants to adjust his voice. Love that little thing here. Love the hand poses. But also that right away we can see all the little details there. We see them all around in the movie, but it's so good. Love that. Love that little arc forward change in the body. That you can see here his dad calls him. <laughs> you see the detail with the pen coming back down. But everything again. There's a little a slight change in what's on ones, what's on twos. But it's such a good introduction of the character and has all the awesome details. I just really, really like the shot. So then speaking of details, when you look at this sequence, I just love that besides the cars going by and all the people walking around here, it just feels like a world where there are other characters than this main character. And I know sometimes it's also a matter of budget. You can't have so many extras walking around and all with different clothing, different character design. But anyway, going back to the detail, look at, he's holding here, you can't even see it. He holds his little sh sliding thing, goes forward. This guy stops it. It's just a subtle detail there. Goes back, he knows his friend is there. They do a little thing here, and again, you see one of those details that you see all throughout the movie. But what I love about this here, and this is something that comes up in so many other shots, is that it's just a performance, and this part is not perfectly framed because it's all about him connecting with other characters but it's just something that he happens to do and this reminds me of a scene in warrior where and i show this to my students a lot where tom hardy has his gesturing at the beach and you just see kind of the wiggle in his arm and in the shoulders and it's not something that's clearly captured in the scene just like in here where we don't want to make a big deal out of it but it's just there so it, to me like throughout the movie there's so many performances where they might focus on something like this right uh, framing wise but you see that the character does something be it uh, a change with the legs a change with the arms and just happens to be part of the performance but also from just a character thing is when she says i miss you and he stops and waits wait you miss me you know back in the day everything that a girl might say 
might stand out and you might think about it twice. Going back to animation though, if you look at this, it's just this sequence here, the complexity of movement, where it's not just, and you can see the on twos where the camera's on ones and the character is sliding because it's on twos, but it's not just we're going to do a run cycle and then he jumps or it's just wall and one axis moving. But if you look at the different types of steps, first of all, you got this awesome push and jump, and then you got a change again and the jump here. Look at the clean poses. So good. And this could have been done a lot simpler. Let's watch this again. So good. One of the other things that I stress uh, in my classes is that it would be interesting if whoever animates whatever shot to include a set. Now this might be a lot of work. I understand that you just sometimes you just want to concentrate, let's say just on this performance and it's just an empty set and all you want to do is animating the character and don't worry about anything else. Sure, I totally understand, especially if it's the first time and it's or it's an exercise. But look at A, just the character boom. Just as an intro, right? Just as a as a pop in terms of, all right, I'm here. And look at this, love this here. And all this over one frame. So good. But you have the set that gives the character options to do things. You have this. You have him reacting to this prop here that he left. He's looking for things in the house. You got all of this, all that secondary action stuff is only there because you do have a set. You got them bumping into each other because of that opening, he didn't see her, but that's also having a set where a character can exit and then come back in. And on top of that, you have a camera move. So that massively long shot, again, that gives you opportunities to have a character exit. We still focus on this. And then that moment through here. And then again, you can showcase what the character likes, what the family cooks, just so many things you can do to give us a better idea of what the characters are doing in the world, what they're liking in the world. But even stuff like that, when he wants to put this, and by this, I mean that, into his backpack, it could just be a simple grab, but he's okay grabbing him here. <laughs> this is a massive figure over him. But again, this would be different for it. Say, let's say this is a student and this is the teacher and the student says, oh, could you please help me put that in there? The teacher might not do this because the teacher might not be familiar, might be inappropriate. And in this case, it's the dad. And it's something that they might do all the time. It's just a different type of interaction. So if you have multiple characters, look at opportunities of showing something like this. So we get to understand who they are and what their relationship is. Now, here's another sequence that I grabbed online that that is anatomy of a scene. But something that's very convenient about having this sequence here is the interaction with the props and clothing. And that was something else that I really, really liked in the movie is that this is very, very complicated to do all the classroom and interaction and the movements and everything. But I love that they went this far where you have, if your character is wearing a backpack, the different styles, A, of holding it and wearing it and getting rid of it, taking it off, putting it back on. And you can see this in this sequence here as he goes forward. Just that, it's complicated to animate, it's complicated to do with the props. But I love this in the movie that you have the opportunity to do all that stuff because they are wearing clothes with pockets. So when you go through the sequence here, you can see that hands are in there and you can set up a specific type of mood or his current emotion by having the hands in the pockets. And again, interaction with the props here is really nicely done. I love this here, there's a certain amount of weight that's gonna have him lean back. And of course, anybody wearing backpacks knows that slinging over there is so good. And again, hand into pockets, which continues here. He's done with this awesome moment here. And then going back into this here. Now, speaking of body mechanics, I grabbed this clip here online that's, you know, it's very pixelated. I apologize for the quality here, but this is something that comes up in so many classes that when you have, an arm moving down. If this arm moves down, it's going to affect the shoulder, which in turn is going to affect the upper body. And if the upper body moves, it's also going to affect the head. So if you watch this whole thing here, just that little gesture, that little move with his arm, you got this arm going down, takes down the shoulder, the arm goes behind the back, and you can see now the angle of the shoulder and then the adjustments in the body as it goes back up. So watch this again. And you can see that trying to stabilize the head. So as you have a rotation here in these angles, you don't want to have the head go with it. 
then all of this feels more like one unit. And right now, there's a nice separation between the chest and the head. And that's just something I want to bring up here for anybody that's new to animation. There's something I bring up in class all the time, how body parts need to be connected. So if you have something like this where the arm goes down, you can't just not move anything here and just have that arm pivot off of here and then that's it. You got to think of, well, this is going to influence this and this is going to influence this and that is going to influence this and so on and so on. I just wanted to bring that up here. I know again, sorry, it's like some uh, low res quality here. But something that just stood out when I saw this on Twitter, uh, and I want to show that to my students in the future. I thought this sequence was really cool too, in terms of introducing all the characters and showing all the different styles. Always a big fan of head accents. And always, you know, sometimes less is more. Now, obviously, she can't do much with her arms because the framing, you know, you wouldn't see up here. But I just love that little, just that little look here, accentuated by eyes and eyebrows. So good. I love his tooth. Oh, that little. Lean and see patient before that walk. Oh, then with this, Let's love this. Then when you see all the characters here, uh, besides, you know, I just want to see a movie that shows all about him. Super clean pose. Love the look of it. And it's great to see all the other characters and you can see the different styles, especially with her. Great moment here too, as she jumps and then gets into all those poses. Look at that. So many one frame changes in posing. Clean poses, look at this here, love it. Oh, so good. And then of course this guy coming in with his, <laughs> such a cool look. And even through here, just on that little moment through there, you still got a little quick smear there and really nice arc. Just kind of typical for that style of animation, which is a bit more clean in terms of arc and anticipation and movement compared to something that's a bit more naturalistic like here. So even with this sequence, when you have something like this, again, I'm just a massive fan of props. And now just the fact that he actually sits on this. But look at, you got the offsets in the legs, you got his, <laughs> look at that compression with the head here. And look at that, with that bounce there. And bam, look at this in real time. So good. And he could just walk in and sit down. But again, just having that type of prop, gives you so many opportunities. This is a great moment to see all the detail when you have something like this, and this must have been a nightmare. Just that setup with the fingers tracking this, you know, even if it's an IK finger setup. But you can see all the details of, like the feet are not completely stuck. I mean, they're supposed to be stuck there, but look at all the different angles. Every time there's compression on it, there's a changes through all, through all of this and play this in real time. So on something like this, you can see that he keeps on moving, you got the knees wiggling. Now look at the feet. There's always something going on, always a slight adjustment, either rotation this way, this way, or coming at us. It's using the toes. And even as he gets kind of quiet right before he lets go, you can see the change in the shoes there. It's all very subtle, but so of course this is awesome. Look at this. Come on! So much awesome detail. And of course, detail in the props as he drops oh, look at this here just everything is so good sorry i can just go through there through so many things you see the compression and the fingers super clean poses very dynamic poses despite his little belly he's still pretty fast and active i love all this there's so many, especially because of the mask and you don't have a face the little expression changes and tilts in the head you got this awesome effect here too. This is not specifically animation related, but I love going through all this and I can't wait to have the full movie and go through frame by frame. And also again, contrast where you have one way of disappearing like this. That might be the first time you see the effect. And then you have this here where they hear someone coming and is a bit more afraid and it's, it's just better and funnier to pop almost like a bubble, something like a bubble burst here, just pop away over one frame. And then is the look here. I love that little change in the shoulders as well. It's not just in the head. It's all those extra little details. Looking at this sequence, you can again see the it's a little sliding because they are on twos while the camera is on ones. But look at this. Look at the jump through here. So good. The posing and just the idea of jumping through that like this. Love this. And speaking of detail, that just cracked me up. Bagel! But even this, even just this minor character further back, you got a 
clear, clean hosing and silhouette because of what's going on. Look at that. So good. And just speaking of so good, I mean, just stuff like this. Just the composition, the set design, the colors. Then you get back into more active sequences where also the camera is more active, helping us, you know, get drawn into the action there. Sometimes I just go through this like, oh man, I can go through this all the time. Look at that. Just so immediate. This is what's important. Clean posing, the framing, how close it is to camera. And even that, just the camera work through there. And there's something really cool in the sequence too, where he tells him that he has to, it's here, as he tells him he has to swing and he goes, no, I prefer running. And there's a great sequence later on towards the end as he becomes Spider-Man, where that gets a bit more, <laughs> sorry, there's something else about the running, but come on, look at this here. Just the intro the, into the frame and just the way he runs while you have this in here. And again, the complexity of the running and the changes. So it's not just all in one axis, but there are obstacles. He has to dodge the lasers. The animation is just so, so good and complex. Love it. And look at this here. Again, this could just be a simple run up, but because of the snow and because he is chased, and I'm sure you got this here. There's a little bit of a change in slip. Has to get back up, keep running. Just absolutely love it. Speaking of physical things here, when he has this, hold on, let's go back here just because it is awesome. Look at this here. So anyway, as he has this here, it is element here. I love that it's not your classic three point landing. And I'm just throwing it out there just because three point landings are so common. But that, look at the different poses and the stretching. And then still some good settle follow through in his clothing here and going back here the feel of a run is just different if you have your hands in the pocket still you know this is something if you do have the opportunity to play with clothing play with the props what could you do this is from the trailers going through some of the trailer shots and because it is a trailer it gives you awesomeness like this just a nice select shots you know specific shots just to showcase you know the awesome composition there's so many moments that you can just stop like this here and it could just be a poster and also there's a great moment through here spoiler if you haven't seen the movie i hope you have like the reason why this is still sticking that's your leap of faith he's not quite relaxed and ready it's great cinematography later on as the camera shakes as we, as we follow him but anyway continue through let me just play through those oh look at this so good and it's kind of neat too, because you got the, in a way, a city silhouette like this. It doesn't have to be technically the one looking down. Great pose too. Here's that camera, giving the extra sense of uh, not being in control. Man, look at this here. Look at that. Super clean. And especially because you have something that's this short in terms of the frame range, you have to be super clear with your anticipation. Look at this here. Such fantastic work. I mean, this whole thing could just be summed up uh, you know, in a couple of frames, me going, so good, so good, so good, but come on, come on. It's so absolutely fantastic. So much crazy amount of work in there. But anyway, let me go through again and show you one of the main things that I love in this movie. Actually later on, I don't think that is in the trailer, but there's a side view of him running. And you can see how the, you know, the frantic running that you have before is much more confident later on. Actually, I don't think it's in here. It's not, but this still has the one pop frame here. Look at that. Anyway, continuing on, continuing on, showing you this. Just love that. And then go, why, what? This kind of summarizes both the things that I, that I really like in this movie. The usage of prop and clothing and again it's just a different way of handling himself and you can get different types of acting choices because of what you're wearing what you're holding where you are and i love this here the fact that it closes the door like this you don't see the leg you just see that it's just hinted at that he closes it with his foot but i love this because it's just something that if this was live action the, you know, the actor would just do it. It would be framed like this and it would be a natural thing for the actor 
to do that here. I'm saying natural, like who knows? I don't know what the actor is doing, but I love that it's an action that's not specifically framed. It just happens to be a performance frame like the way it is here. But it's not just that, you know, there's just so many moments where the animation is great when you have, you know, something like this here, where it just pops over one frame. And again, this shot is really short, so watch this in real time. Look at that. It's just, you gotta have a very, very clear change of posing, anticipation, and then bam. Also, I like actually the change. It's not like that in the movie, and I like that little change they did there. If you follow on animation on Twitter, you probably have seen lots of tweets and links and just so many goodies about this movie. And of course, I will post everything in the description. And there's a good one with all the artists that are involved. There's a long thread about that. There's an art dump about all the artwork and just the, the, the awesome and the crazy amount of fantastic work for this movie. And if you go onto the blog page, you have such a huge list of so many good things, concept work, character work, sketches, character sheets. I mean, you can scroll down and down and down. There's more about the story, there's more about animation. So if you wanna know a lot more before the movie comes out with special features and the art of book and all that good stuff, you can go online and check that out. Again, link in the description. So much good work in this movie. And my main two takeaways were that just the integration of clothing, it just feels like people acting things out it's just, it's just a natural performance where they use their clothing they use their props and the the acting choices it was just it was just a performance that was captured and they had gestures off screen but it just happens to be captured in this way far away close up there's just something so special about the performances and the look the world the character designs are also different and it just really feels like a, 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 such a world that has so many people in it, people with their own stories. It just feels like it just feels like a world with so many characters in it, and the Spider-Man story just happened to be in that world. And again, all the performances just happened to be captured in a certain way. I don't know. There's there's nothing very smart that I can say about this. I just really really like the movie, the animation, the character design, the music. There's so much awesomeness in this movie. But anyway. That's it from me. That was my analysis or me nerding out about so many things that I like about this movie. And if you watch the whole thing till the very end, as always, I really, really appreciate it. And if you like this, like and subscribe and hit that bell button if you wanna get all the notifications. If you've seen this and you have comments about the movie, animation, other goodies that you wanna share with people, leave comments. That's my dog. See, his excitement for the movie. Everybody is excited, including my dog. He's not excited anymore. He's still excited. All right, I am recording this and it is not Oscar time yet. So by the time I'm done, hopefully we will know. Crossing all fingers. Of course, whoever wins, congratulations, whoever won the Oscar. But that's it from me and I will see you in my next clip.